hello friends welcome to my next video tutorial of private structure 2017 in this video you will learn how to place column in your model to do that you have to go to here under the structural tab you can see here column click on this column now you can see here by default there is a column which is w10 by 49 if you click this drop down list you can see there is a couple of common column available here in, in this list but if this list does not work for you you have to load the column you have the option here to load available size or your desired size to do that go to here load family this big button click here now from this list go down and you can see there is a structural columns click on this now select this is still and this is the white flange column and you can see a lots of available column and member are here so we want to use this one w white flex column select this one and click open and now you can see all the available w shape column is available here so if you go down i can see all the column available here so we, we want to use a 18 by 106 size column so i have to go down 18 by 106 this one so select this one press ok now and you can see the column is available here and if you click this drop down list you can see the column is here so make sure your column size is 18 by 106 or as per your requirement now here you can see this is in depth and right now we are in first floor click here select this is height and this should be second floor so we are in first floor it should be the next level so second floor and now click on this intersection point when highlighted click one this is click on all this intersection point you can draw 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 but by clicking all this intersection point we can use other easiest way to draw the same size column if we have by here you can see here is a at grid com command select this and now select all this grid this way and now you can see and you can see all the grid has been highlighted and you can see a preview of all the grid intersection has a column right now and then make sure you have clicked this finish button and you can see all the column has been drawn at the section okay now press yes see if you want to draw another size column on any specific point you can do the same way you have to go to here column now here load family go down structural columns still w shape and pick your column from here then it will be available here then you can draw by clicking individual point okay now say delete this one then take column so by default this column is now this is the last now click here this and by selecting this this grid and we if we want to draw this grid one column we can just click here you can see a column has been drawn here same way if i click this grid you can see it is drawing here so if i want to draw this way i have to just i can draw by two click only one column at a time now finish again go here select this grid and this grid you can see a column has been drawn this way so this this is way, another way of drawing column at individual point or by clicking on intersection or by selecting all the grid if your column size is same you can draw a column in the exact position okay now we have only drawn the column in one floor if i go here in 3d you can see here only in one floor i have drawn the column see we have to draw this column for all floor go to here first floor now this way select all this column and you can see the grid has been selected we can deselect grid by going to here this filter option uncheck this grid then ok now you can see only we have the column selected now we want to copy this by this command here you can see this is copy to clipboard not this copy so click this one and now you can see here this is paste don't press ctrl plus b to paste this is not the same just 
click on this drop down menu and from here align to selected level click on here and now you can see we have drawn already in this level so we have to select this second floor hold down the shift key and up to the sixth floor just this way so <laughs> don't select up to roof so we have to select second to sixth floor right now click ok it will take some time to draw the column now go to this 3d view you can see all has been drawn now holding down the shift key and pressing the wheel of your mouse you can rotate this 3d view so you can see all the column has been drawn in the proper place so this way you can draw a column in your model and also copy them to various level so thanks for watching my this video see you in any next video